How good was Adolf Hitler at chess? Today we have a very special video and we're going to be going over a game that was played between Adolf Hitler and Vladimir Lenin. Yes, you heard that right. The game was reportedly played in Vienna 1909. And there are some doubts over the authenticity of this game. There was actually a painting drew of Adolf Hitler and Vladimir Lenin playing a chess game and lots of people have said this game existed. However, some are quite skeptical. Anyway, we're just going to take it how it is and we're just going to go over it. So today we're going to be looking at it from the white pieces today and Vladimir Lenin is commanding the white pieces. He was the head of the Soviet Union for I believe two years and the head of Soviet Russia for a couple more years. Um, and with the black pieces we have Adolf Hitler. So Vladimir Lenin opens up with E4. I like to say the best way to start the game however that may divide some of you. A6 was played. This is known as the St. George defense and before you think okay this is just going to be a silly game. The game is actually very good and this is all theory as you'll see and it, and it transposes in to a very mainline opening. We now see the move D4 and now B5 and you might be wondering what on earth is Hitler doing here? But after D4 and B5 we're going to perfectly transpose into a normal opening. Um, Hitler's just ready to fianchetto his light squared bishop and apply pressure to the center not with his pawns but uh, from a distance with his bishops. Knight F3. Lenin continues his development. We now see the move E6. So we've actually already transposed into a French defense the St. George's variation um, as in the French defense uh, black goes E6 and D4. Bishop D4 free. So Vladimir Lenin developing his pieces very nicely, ready to castle his king side, playing very principled, just Russian style really. The Russians like to play very principled, so just playing typical Soviet chess. We now see the move c5, so Hitler strikes in the center. As in chess, you cannot really allow your opponent to just dominate the center, so at some point you have to fight for the center, as it is the most important part of the board. Um, these four squares, very important. He who controls the center controls the game. So Vladimir Lenin here has to make a choice. If he castles his king side, Hitler can play the move c4 and Hitler has very nice queenside play and will be able to expand on the queenside and create some problems. So the threat of c4 is real. So here white can play something like c3 just to slip this bishop back to c2 so it can stay on this nice diagonal. Or white can just take on c5 and this is what was played in the game. And now Hitler takes back this pawn on c5. He's developed these pieces now while capturing back. And Vladimir Lenin says, you know what, I'm going to castle my king as king safety is the number one principle in chess. If you lose your king, you simply lose the game. And now Hitler says, you know what, I'm going to develop this bishop to this nice b7 square as it now applies pressure to this e4 square. So as you see, Hitler is attacking the center just from a bit of a distance here. Queen e2, um, if the center is ever opened, then uh, he can always slide a rook to d1 and put this rook on the same line as this queen. And now Hitler plays probably his first bad move. You, you would expect a bad move because so far they've been playing kind of mainline theory, playing really well. And Hitler plays the move queen b6. And this move doesn't really do anything because this pawn here is very well defended as you see from this queen and this rook but in this instance as you see Hitler's kind of just neglected the development of his own pieces what he really wants to be doing here is kind of just castling his king getting his pieces to safety and then after his pieces are all developed his minor pieces like some bishops then he can move his queen but he's kind of moved it prematurely here so Starling takes great advantage of this move and really shows his understanding of the game and plays the move a4 and to those of you who haven't played much chess or don't know too much about the game you might be wondering how is this a good move because here white is attacking black structure remember on the first two moves Hitler wasted time creating this structure and now it's coming under attack and um, because BA4 was played in the game and now Lenin plays the very nice move knight c3 so he's already threatening to take on a4 and notice how this pawn is now isolated there is no pawns in the adjacent files so after knight c3 Hitler plays the move a3 he knows he's in trouble here and he's already up a pawn remember as he took this so he decides to kind of sacrifice it here we now see BA3, which was not the most accurate move. Instead of taking back here, it would have been a lot better for Lenin to play a move like knight a4, winning one of the bishops. After move a3, Lenin simply takes back. However, it does open this b file. As you notice, this queen is on this weak file. And we really see the weakness of this queen b6 move now. So Hitler realizes a move like rook b1 may be coming. So he decides to play the move queen a5. So with queen a5, which we'll see in the game, it's kind of isolated from black's camp. And as you're going to see, it's going to be a crucial factor in this game. So here Lenin says, you know what, I'm going to develop my bishop as I 
could put it on this very nice diagonal. All I need to do is move this knight now and I'll be threatening this pawn on g7. So Hitler says, you know what, I'm going to put my knight on f6. Problem is, Hitler hasn't moved any of these pawns in the center, which means his control is a bit limited. So that allows Lenin to play the move e5 and kick this knight away. You now see knight d5. As you don't really want to put your knight back to a passive square, so the d5 square looks all right. We now see knight d5, Lenin exchanges, bishop d5. And now Lenin plays knight g5, threatening this pawn on h7. So now we kind of see the weakness of black's position. Uh, these two bishops are kind of isolated from the king. And what Lenin's realized here, he's gone, you know what? I've castled my king. I followed the basic principles of chess. My opponent hasn't. And now he's paying for it. Because in chess, when you don't follow the principles, something normally goes wrong. Even if you don't play too much chess and you've got another passion that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, you would probably understand that in your kind of certain thing, you have those set in stone principles. Sometimes you can bend them. But when you really ignore those principles, things can really turn bad. And this is what's happened for Hitler here. So after knight g5, he admits his mistake and goes queen d8, trying to get his queen back to defensive duties. But here, Lenin plays queen g4. He's getting his queen into the game. Pieces are on good squares. He's developed his stuff. And now Hitler lashes out and goes h5, questioning this queen, saying, where on earth are you going? Queen g3 was played. And now h4, just Hitler just non-stop applying pressure. We now see queen g4 and g6. A lot better would have been Hitler to kind of sacrifice a pawn here. Instead of playing h3 here, which he could have, Hitler plays the move g6. And this is the beginning of the end. You can try pause the video if you want and find Lenin's star move. I'll give you a couple seconds or you can just pause the video. So if you did pause the video, Lenin played the knockout blow here and went knight f7. Forking this queen and this rook. But Hitler boldly takes this knight. But here Lenin goes bishop g6, checking this king. And now Hitler walks into the firing line and goes king g7. Bishop h5, check. King f8, queen f4, check. Attacking this king, king g7. And after queen f7, Adolf Hitler resigns. Because the king is forced to the h6 square, where Lenin can simply checkmate him with queen g6. That would be an absolute KO. So after queen f7, check. Hitler surrendered and blew himself into the oblivion. So a very nice game by Vladimir Lenin and Hitler. I mean, Hitler did play pretty well, to be fair. He was playing against a Soviet hardcore chess player. Anyway, that is the end of the game. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, like and subscribe, write some comments. I'm always reading the comments. Thank you for your time and attention. It is much appreciated. And if you're interested in any of my other videos, I've got one right here. Have a good day.